In addition to the violence and bloodshed supported by the federal government policies with the Army, one of the things that leads to the decline of the Plains Indians is the demise of the buffalo. Uh, buffalo roamed the prairies, the Great Plains, and in 1750, there's about 30 million buffalo. By 1850, there's less than 10 million buffalo. By 1900, fewer than 100. So what happened? Well, there's a lot of stuff going on. All of those settlers that are moving into the West, well, um, the, there's a lot of white trophy hunting, right? They're, they're killing the buffalo and then skinning them and taking the hides. Um, when that's not happening, all those railroads, those transcontinental railroads that are being built through the territory, well, they're encouraging the slaughter of the buffalo so that the buffalo don't break the tracks, don't um, you know, run into the trains, uh, all that kind of thing. So they're encouraging the slaughter of the buffalo just by passing as they're moving along. Uh, passengers would shoot the buffalo from out of the windows. Um, Plains Indians themselves participated. Uh, they were empowered by horses and guns and they overhunted. And also they were given bounties by uh, unscrupulous um, white traders. Uh, so they, the Buffalo were overhunted and, and we have this collective action problem. Okay. Um, then there's also grazing animals that are competing with the buffalo now. There's about 2 million horses uh, on, on the Plains territory it's eating the same grass and drinking the same water. So there's this competition by 1900 that's, that's, part, uh, that's uh, difficult here. And partially, this is an intentional act by uh, those Western white settlers to drive away a food source. Uh, and by driving away the food source, the buffalo, you're going to drive away the Plains Indians and it's going to lead to a big decimation of the culture there too.